Hey everyone, welcome to researchmd.com. My name is Dr. Pramil Charya. I work as a physician in the United States, program director, internal medicine residency, transitional residency, and uh, an associate professor of medicine, two large medical schools in the United States. So okay, we got a very important antibiotic lecture today. And the, uh, we've been doing a series of lectures on antibiotic. Today we're going to look at a different class of very, very important antibiotic, one of the newer antibiotic. So first thing, let's look at the name, what is it? is cyclic lipopeptide, and the drug is daptomycin, very expensive drug, and uh, <clears throat> it is very, very important to treat the MRSA and the vancomycin-resistant andrococi. So the first thing what we have to do is look at the structure. You got, when you look at the structure, you got 13 amino acids, okay? And then 10 of them is arranged in a cycle, that's why it's called a cyclic lipopeptide. Okay, and then you got um, an exocyclic tail attached to it. Remember, that's the that's the structure. Now, how does the daptomycin or how does this antibiotic work? The mechanism of action is always important. If I'm writing a question, they always ask about this, so make sure you know that. The first thing is the lipid portion of the daptomycin binds to the bacterial cytoplasmic membrane, and then they create a hole in the membrane. Okay, and then it also causes membrane depolarization, detachment of enzymes necessary for the bacterial cell wall synthesis. Okay, that's the way it works. Now, let's look at the coverage. Um, when you look at the coverage, um, what do we have to know? There is no gram-negative coverage, okay? Very, very important, and it does not penetrate into the lungs, so don't give it for pneumonia. Very, very important, okay? And then... Let's look at the gram-positive coverage. Two important things you have to know is MRSA and VRE. What is MRSA? Methylene-resistant and methylene-resistant staph aureus. And what is VRE? Vancomycin-resistant andrococi. The other coverage, you have staph aureus, staph epidermis, streptococcus, um, meridians group, streptococcus, strep pneumonia, and andrococi. Okay, so remember again, no gram negative coverage, just like vancomycin. Okay, now anaerobic coverage what do you have in the anaerobic coverage is it covered the gram positive anaerobes, but no gram negative um, anaerobes. Remember that. Okay, so it does not cover gram negative anaerobes. So, again, two things we have now methicillin resistant. Staph aureus, it, it does cover, okay? Vancomycin resistant andrococi, it covers. And then, let's look at the daptomycin, the drug. The first thing we have to look at the dose. What's the dose? You get four to six milligram kg only once daily. That's an advantage, you have to dose only once daily. What happened in the renal failure? You, you can always calculate the creatinine clearance, right? If the creatinine clearance is like less than 30, you make the dose, you keep the same dose, but you dose it every 48 hours because it's gonna stay in the system longer. But remember, the main thing, it does not go into the lungs and don't um, prescribe this against pneumonia, okay? And let's look at the toxicity. What happened? It can cause myopathy, it can cause the phlebitis, it can cause rash. Anything unusual is eosinophilic pneumonia, okay? And then it can cause GI adverse effect like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, all the GI complications also. So let's summarize this one more time right here. We got a cyclic lipopeptide, 13 amino acids, my friend. 10 of them, 10 of them arranged in a cycle. And the other one, you got an exocyclic tail. And then the name is daptomycin. And then remember the mechanism of action. It binds to the um, daptomycin, bind to the bacterial cytoplasm membrane and make a hole in it, okay? And then look at the coverage. There's no gram negative coverage. Two important thing against methicillin resistant staph aureus is good drug. The angomycin resistant andrococa is a good drug. There's no other drugs are available. And then um, it does not work in the lungs. Always remember that. No coverage in that. Don't prescribe for this pneumonia. And uh, there's no gram negative coverage. And think about the toxicity, including ESNOPHILIC pneumonia. Thank you so much for watching. We'll be back with another presentation soon. Thank you.